Hi, it's me Tina Amir and welcome to my channel. For this video, we still gonna learn our lesson Kata Imbuhan Awalan or Kata Imbuhan Awalan which is prefix. We've not done everything yet. So for this one, we're gonna learn prefix mem. I know in the previous lesson, we've learned about prefix me and then when it's encounter with the root word start with alphabet P, then it become mem, right? But for this one, it's really mem. And for this prefix mem, it's for the root word which start with the alphabet B and F. So let's start now. So mem plus baca. Baca is read. It become membaca. Nothing's change. Before I start, please pay attention to the formal and informal pronunciation for formal Malay sentence and also for speaking. For membaca, which is reading English sentence, reading delays among children doesn't mean they are lazy, but maybe they are dyslexic. Formal Malay sentence, formal pronunciation, anak yang lambat membaca bukan bermakna mereka malas, tetapi mungkin dyslexia. Informal pronunciation for formal Malay sentence, anak yang lambat membaca bukan bermakna mereka malas, tetapi mungkin dyslexia. Reading delays, lambat membaca atau lambat membaca, Lambat is slow. Membaca is reading. It's not reading slowly, no. But children who encounter the problem, they have difficulty in the early stage of learning. They having problem with difficulty to read. Among children, di antara, antara. In Malay, we don't care much about plural or singular. Instead of we say anak-anak, we can also say anak. Because in this whole sentence is anyway, when you read that, you know it's plural, it's a general. Yang is that. Bukan is not bermakna means mereka de malas is lazy, tetapi but mungkin maybe for speaking. This is formal pronunciation. Anak lambat baca bukan sebab diorang malas. Tapi mungkin dyslexia. Informal pronunciation for speaking. Anak lambat baca bukan sebab diorang malas. Tapi mungkin dyslexia. For those of you who don't know yet, let's we educate ourselves together. Among Asian, we normally don't really know much about this. So for dyslexia or dyslexic, they look normal and sometimes they are more intelligent in terms of thinking than other people. Anyway, it's not the same symptom for every child, but they have the problem that Normally, they are left out from the schools. And we can see this as early as five years old. How you can recognize this? They actually having problem to translate the writing into understanding. They are very difficult in terms of that. So among the signs, as I say, it's not the same for every children. But normally, they have speech delay. And then in that speech delay, they normally have a difficulty to say the long word. And then they have reading difficulty. When you ask them to read, they normally give excuse like they couldn't see. And then they will avoid to read and also write. They also have writing difficulty. For example, if you give them certain words to copy, then they have difficulty to copy the word B. Instead, they will write the alphabet D. Numbers, when they see 6 and then they try to copy, they will write 9. That's what you can see on the paper. They are quite careless. Sometimes they fall and they do something which they don't mean to. And they also will get scold a lot because they don't understand the instruction. Not because they don't listen. They just couldn't understand. And they often like forgetful because have shock the memory loss. And then they also having difficulty to learn maths. But with all these problems I've mentioned, don't look down on them because they are gifted to another side. Many of these kids, they are actually have more talent on the creative sides. So they can also become successful on their area. Oftentimes, dyslexic 
children when the parents don't educate themselves and they have this kind of children and they don't know they will often like put this kid into pressure tell them they are slow they are stupid just because they are not the same level in school like the other children if you notice any of your family members or maybe somebody you know relative or friends don't look down on them that doesn't mean they are less of a human like all of us it just they have advantage on the other side well that's about dyslexic now we move on to the word start with the alphabet f which is fitna so fitna in malay is slander prefix mem plus the word fitna become mem fitna actually slander also doesn't change meaning so we go for the english example here slandering does not bring any benefit formal pronunciation for formal Malay sentence perbuatan memfitnah tidak mendatangkan apa-apa faedah informal pronunciation for formal Malay sentence perbuatan memfitnah tidak mendatangkan apa-apa faedah so perbuatan actually did memfitnah slandering Malay if formal sentence we put perbuatan perbuatan mean the act of slandering but in english you don't have to put that kind of word so you just go straight to the point slandering does not bring any benefit tidak not mendatangkan bring is from the word datang which is come apa-apa apa is what apa-apa is any faedah is benefit but when you speak this is formal pronunciation for speaking fitnah orang tak dapat apa-apa faedah. Informal pronunciation for speaking, fitnah orang, tak dapat apa-apa faedah. That's how you mention when you speak. And if somebody accuse you or you heard so many accusations about you, then you can say, this is formal Malay sentence, itu semua fitnah. That's the formal pronunciation. Informal pronunciation, itu semua fitnah. But when you speak, instead of you say itu, you just say, to semua fitnah. Like for example, your friends come up to you and say, somebody said you do this and that. Then you just say, to semua fitnah. This is the informal pronunciation for speaking. To semua fitnah, which means that slander. Okay, I guess that's all for our prefix lesson, mum. Thank you for watching me and see you again in another lesson. Bye.